Four years, three teams, $2 million put up by NASA Centennial Challenges. Sound familiar? No, that's, that's not it. It's what, no, that's not the right one either. It's what some people, okay, look, now you're not even trying. It's what some people are calling the next generation in space travel, the space elevator. <laughs> Since 2005, the competition has admittedly changed quite a bit, but the same principles are still in place. How do we get a robot to climb a tether in geosynchronous orbit in an efficient way while keeping the power source on the ground? And once we have that robot, how do we make that tether able to be strong and light enough to handle such a lofty goal? This year's three teams are Laser Motive, a so-called industry team, USST, a very skilled Saskatoon, Canada University team of students who have outperformed many competitors in previous contests while still not quite winning, and the Kansas City Space Pirates, a group of engineering hobbyists. The competition challenges its entrance to build a laser-powered robot to climb up a helicopter suspended cable one kilometer high without any onboard energy storage and an average of five meters per second in order to win the $2 million. Hey, I never said it was easy. So now that I have you interested, where can you go to watch all of this stuff in action? Well, starting November 3rd, you can see the Space Elevator games on NASA TV. So if you have DirecTV, you can tune to channel 283, or the spaceelevatorgames.com's website will also be showing it, as will Ustream.tv, or you can also watch it with all of us here at Space Vidcast. And of course, after the competition, don't forget to join us live this Friday at 2 a.m. Coordinated Universal Time, where we'll be interviewing Skylab astronaut Jerry Carr, Grab his book, Around the World in 84 Days, from ApogeeBooks.com, and ask Jerry your questions live during the show. I know that someone by the name of Ben Credible on Twitter alluded to that now that Ares launch and the Northrop Grumman Lunar Lander Challenge were already over, that there really weren't any interesting space things going on this week. I guess he was wrong. And that's why I'm the host, because I'm just that.